I guess I'll fix my hair while I make this video. So here's what I realized. I was listening to this song last week and I shared it with a friend of mine because it was it was um, referenced in a J. Cole song. Um, and so I let her hear the original version of it. And then as I listened to the song, I realized how destructive it might be to our community and the image of family that we're trying to create. So what's the song that J. Cole song where he'd be like, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. How does, what is that song called? You okay? There's a, the original song, um, I think it's called Captain Save a Ho. And I let her listen to the original song and we actually watched the music video while we listened to the song. And I was a little bit disturbed. And I'll tell you why, two things. Number one, black women are upheld and encouraged to be ride or dies for their men. We are, we are told to build these relationships and these partnerships and do this 50-50 bullshit and ride or die and hold him down and take care of him and be there for him. But that same nigga is called a Captain save -a if he rescues you. What? Does that make any sense? Why are more men right now living hypergamously than women? Why are there more men right now in our community who are living up dating up and marrying up but if a man reaches down and pulls a black woman up he's called a captain save a hoe and i was looking at the music video and i was like okay what are these what it, what distinguishes a woman as a hoe because like i expect the man that i'm with to pull me up i could do bad by myself if you're not doing better than me why why the fuck right but I'm looking at the video, and I'm watching the images in the video, and I'm like, okay, what's the hoe? It's a woman walking down the street with a child. That's a hoe? Damn, that makes me a hoe. And any man who gets with me and, 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 and provides for me the hypergamous relationship that my bloodline deserves is a captain save a hoe because I have a child? Another image of a hoe was a woman walking down the street. Just a woman. Like, there was nothing about her. She wasn't dressed inappropriately in this video. She wasn't behaving in any type of way. She wasn't, you know, uh, putting her thumb out to indicate she needed a ride. She was just walking. And he pulls up to her. And if you remember the video, you can YouTube it, Google it, whatever you need to do. I believe that he walked up to her and asked her, insinuated in the image that he was gonna help her. And that makes him a Captain save -a hoe Because he offers a woman a ride who's walking down the street? Like, <clears throat> so let's, let's break that down. I don't hear any images in any other culture where a man who, who pulls a woman up with, her, with his finances, his social status, his resources. I don't hear any of those men called Captain save -a hoes outside of our culture and i don't hear a woman you know you got these you know single mothers in all other cultures i don't hear them call hoes so why do we perpetuate this and i had to like i even had to think about it myself because i've got some close friends one of my close friends he tends to be the kind of man who doesn't mind helping women if they need him. And it seems like he purposely attracts these women who need him and he helps them. And I literally have called this man a Captain save -a when in all actuality, he's a rescuer. He's a hero. He's a man who's living in the place he should live in to help someone else. Maybe we should think about that. Maybe we should think about the fact that as black women, we have been put in this position where if we expect more, then, then we've been told we're supposed to have, we're gold diggers, we're hoes, we're all these other things. But every other culture of women is allowed to date our successful men, and, and it's not given to them the same way. There are literally men who don't, black men who don't take, won't, they don't wanna take a black woman out on a date. They want this premier, top shelf, well-shaved pussy with these $100 panties 
you know, this $50 facial and all these other things, all this lingerie and all the things a woman has to do to make sure she stays this beautiful for the rest of her life. But you want to take a bitch to Starbucks for a first date? Yeah, five minutes, because this has been going for a long time. I'm kind of perturbed, disturbed. This song is a classic and it's lived in our community and in our culture for a long time. And it's literally telling a man and a woman, a black man and a black woman, it's telling a black woman that if you have a child or if you're walking down the street as a female, you're a whore. And any man who comes and, and, and gives you more than you have is a Captain Sabre whore. And this is coming from our culture to our culture. This is a, a, a street prophet ministering to us. The time is now 5.59. It was 5.55, so I'm going to let this go. And hopefully, I ain't got to say it no more. <laughs> Bars, bitch.